Oh my word, she's gonna take Krista and run. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan, Season 2, Episode 35, called Children. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Oh... So is this not Connie's village? Is this the one they were talking about? It looks like it. Titans were having a field day in a completely empty village. Yeah, so this is Connie's village. So they've now gone back to scout and to see like what has actually happened. Oh, is this his mom? I wonder if we're going to find out my theory oh wow i wonder if she will talk and they'll actually understand damn we're gonna find out crazy so basically someone in the comments was telling me like there's no episode 33 or something from before of, of season two but what I'm saying is that that tallies all the episodes in total. This is just season two. So we're back here. Remember, I got really frustrated, obviously, because, you know, it didn't seem like that last episode went anywhere. But here we are. We're back. And then the scouts were on their way. So this is why they were, like, panicking a little bit. What are you right now? Oh. She's the one who ate Marcel. Oh. Crazy. So maybe they are from the same place in terms of how they become titans and stuff. The family of the church. What? We'll make our search much easier. So he said, if Aaron turns out not to be the coordinate, I wonder what that means. Wow, I really want to know more about their side of things. Oh, tell Annie how you feel. <laughs> wow, you're both murderers. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's smart i don't know maybe he'll go with them too like he was mentioning something about he needs to find out information oh elbow man big elbows just when i thought aaron had some form of control <laughs> Man. Maybe it was his brother or something. Aaron, just a wild animal. Aaron doesn't seem to remember either. <laughs> About 60 years. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Because remember I said like how old are these people? You know, I even though I like I actually got it confused that first time. I was like, how old would they have been? You know, when Aaron's mom got eaten. But now you're seeing that they can live for a very long time and it's they actually forget. 
Oh my word, and I had another theory about like Aaron being on some type of loop. Like that dream that he keeps having. I don't know, man. So many theories running through my head. Commander Irwin. Christus was. So Yamil's already just like decided like she's gonna go with them. After I'm eaten by one of you warriors. Man, this scene is so intense, actually. Like, just that conversation was so intense. Who or what is Krista to everyone? Oh. He's a promising one. Oh, it's just, this just like an adoption type of thing. Why does that look like Bertold? Who inherits the blood of the king? Lady Ymir. Right, because she's like way older, right? She said she wandered for 60 years outside of the wall. So, like, how old is she really? What? Damn, then they threw her under the bus. Wow. What? What? Transforming. I'm so confused now, but man, this is at least something. Oh, what? I'm dude. Oh, this is where she ate Marcel. But here's the thing. They stabbed them with something. So that thing is obviously turns them to titans. And then they kicked them off the wall. Right? And then obviously maybe because of that adrenaline rush, they actually transform. Oh, so this is when she ended up like, Remember what she overheard about Krista? So how old is she? Over a hundred even? I feel like, wow, like Krista is supposed to be some type of like, goddess to these people. Oh. Oh, she's gonna go back. Oh. Man, okay, it's fine. Let the story play. Damn, okay. But I... Oh, there she transforms. Oh. First casualty. It's... So, basically, 
Yeah, I mean, we saw it now, them get stabbed and then almost banished out of the wall. And then they transform and they let them run. Yamir, that must be her. Look at how confused Hannes was looking. She's only looking for Krista, obviously. Krista. Oh my word, she's gonna take Krista and run. <gasps> Damn. But you see how, like, she had the mouth, like, the, like, even though her leg was there, she, like, it was a soft hold, if you will. The grip was soft. Man. Damn, she actually got Krista. Oh. The Colossal. I mean, the Armored Titan. But isn't he faster if he breaks the armor around his shins like we saw? Damn. On the back. And once again, they took Eren, and it's that same picture. Wow. Insane. Insane. Crazy. All right. So that was, that was, <laughs> that was a lot better than the last episode. Although, as you saw, noticed, like, right in the middle of that i was just kind of like you know what let the story play out i mean it's obviously written brilliantly they obviously know what they're doing and i'm probably not the only one who's ever felt this way in the history of watching the show you know so my frustration is probably what many people have felt in the past and will feel in the future but very interesting i think the biggest takeaway from there is when she said i wondered beyond the walls for 60 years and how she like crawled into that ditch and literally the ground grew over her so how old is she really she could easily be over 100 years old and then we go back in time to where you see how she was this orphan street kid they just grabbed her they spoke about you have the blood of the king and they kind of like worshipped her and then these other people sort of, you know, broke in there. And that was obviously some type of blasphemy that they didn't want people doing. And then the way they punished them was weird. Like stoned them in the streets, had them lined up on the wall. And then they like stabbed them in the back with something and kicked them off. And then you saw that light happen where they actually transform. And then that was when she like, they let her run. So that there is obviously whatever they're stabbing them with. Obviously, this is just my theory, but whatever they're stabbing them with, that is the thing that is making them transform and become titans. Even just how like it looked like it was Bertolt and Reiner them who actually found Ymir to begin with. And that's why they were like, oh, you don't remember like eating Marcel. But here's the other thing. They were on the outside of the wall as well. And it's just another thing that I was also saying when I asked like a couple of episodes ago. I'm like, if they were the ones who came there and attacked the wall when Aaron's mom got eaten, like how old are they? You know, that was my question. I was like, weren't, aren't they the same age as Aaron, like young? And then another thing is they were saying that it also seems like Aaron doesn't remember as well. So how old is Aaron? You know what I mean? Like, we have no clue how far this goes back and exactly what's going on because they said that we need to see if Aaron is the coordinator or something. Like, what is the coordinator? So many more questions, but definitely satisfied with that episode in terms of, wow, we just got hit with a lot. The biggest thing still remains is, who is Krista? And, like, they speak about Krista like she's more than just a human being. You know, like, she's just, like, type of goddess thing 
and everything relies on her, you know. And now they've taken her, so gonna be very interesting to see. But man, really, really good episode. Super keen on continuing it. But that's gonna be it for me. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.